and I want to say that uh, the task force that will be put in place should proceed with speed so that the issues that need to be addressed are addressed so that we can be able to have better absorption rates for our funds that have been expended in this uh, great country. Again, on the mechanism to build resilience, that we can be better prepared to deal with the negative effects of climate change and other challenges that uh, come across the way all the time. Let me encourage continuous engagement with our partners. The Ruto administration has identified continuous ex engagement as our modus operandi. And so far it has worked very well for us. Let me encourage even outside this forum, one-to-one -one consultation. If you have some program with a certain partner, as a ministry, please engage. And we did remove the bottlenecks that were there in terms of bureaucracy, that you have to go through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The president guided that uh, we need to lessen bureaucracy and red tape so that we can make progress. We will continue meeting at the high level consultation forum that I co-chair with the uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary to unlock whatever impediments that are there that may hinder uh, expeditious implementation of agreed programs. Mostly at the Office of the Attorney General, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the National Treasury. That is where we have had challenges. At our forum, when those issues are brought to attention by the Secretariat sitting in my office, we'll be able to unlock them so that we can be able to make progress. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the SECO Development Partnership Forum under the Kenya Council Administration. We are again gathered here today to deepen and strengthen our collaboration towards Kenya's development priorities. This forum is a vital platform for high-level dialogue to enhance the effectiveness of our development approach. Your presence here today demonstrates your commitment to the journey we started last year. Very brief.